Colgate Raiders volleyball team is on a winning streak, and a big contributor to that undefeated Patriot League success has been senior setter Kaylee Pfeiffer. She racked up 50 assists, 17 digs, and 5 kills in Friday's victory at Lehigh, and she kept at it in Saturday's win over Navy with her fourth straight double-double in league play. A rockin' weekend in volleyball stats has earned her this week's Patriot League Rockin' Refuel Performance of the Week. And she joins us now via Skype to talk about it. Hi Kaylee, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, thanks. Your team is undefeated in league play. Can you talk about your team's chemistry on the court? Um, our team chemistry has been awesome. We've been working really hard on communication and teamwork and um, just kind of like what each person's roles are on the team. So it's been great. You tallied up 50 assists at Lehigh, 45 in Navy, and are currently at the top of the league with 608. What does that mean for you as a setter to lead the league in that category? It's a it's an awesome honor to have that under um, my belt, but I couldn't have done it without my passers or my hitters being smart and knowing where to place the ball. I really just, I put all my trust in them and kind of just let them take over and they make me look good. Well, they're doing a good job with that. Yes. <laughs> You've had four straight double-doubles since starting league play. Are you looking to keep that pace up throughout the season and is being well-rounded on the court something you take pride in? Um, yes, I take a lot of pride in being able to um, have quite a few digs and sets, but I don't really think about it during the game. I just kind of play my position, do what our coach tells us to do, and hope for the best. Off the court, you're a SAC representative and a member of the Leadership Academy. Why do you think it's important for student athletes to be involved with these kinds of initiatives? It's extremely important to see what's kind of on the other side of just being on the court or on the field. I think um, the, some of the workings that some of the staff do here are extremely important, and if um, we're not aware of that, then I think it you lack kind of a dimension to just your sport in general, but you get a full understanding of how to get people to games, how to um, communicate to people off the court, and um, realize kind of what's happening besides just in your sport in general. Okay, so we got some serious questions out of the way. Now we're going to hit the fun stuff. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, so your team was on the road last weekend. How do you guys typically pass the time on long bus trips? Um, we do a lot of movies, we do a lot of jokes, and um, kind of keep that interesting. And kind of a, a, one of our classes will come up with something new every bus ride. Do you have a favorite movie? Um, favorite movie? We watch Bridesmaids a lot. <laughs> I, I could see that getting you pumped up for, for uh, league play, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, with all of your winning that's been going on, I have to wonder if you or your teammates have any superstitions. Um, superstitions, I would say there's a few of us on the team that wear the same headband, uh, keep the same two pair of socks for every game and kind of keep into that, but there's not any huge superstitions where you have to touch a wall or go to a certain side of the line or something like that, no. In Major League Baseball, batters can choose songs to play when they approach the plate. If you could pick a song to play when you step out onto the court, what would it be? That's a tough one. <laughs> um, I, um, I love Eminem songs, so one of those types of songs that kind of gets you pumped before you go go after it would be great. Censored Eminem song? <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> and you're a history major. If you could go back to any place and time in history, what would it be? Um, probably, this sounds really cheesy, but probably to like when Michelangelo was sculpting David or um, something more like back into that time frame and into Italy. I love that era. Is there one historical figure that you'd really like to meet? Um, I think it would be really interesting hmm, to maybe meet one of like the older presidents and kind of like during one of the world wars or something to kind of see what was actually happening during that time period. <laughs> You're originally from Texas. How have you been handling uh, your winters in Colgate? <laughs> um, I love it. There's a lot of snow and it's a completely different lifestyle for sure, but me and some of my other teammates we've gone sledding and we've had our snowball sh good share of snowball fights and it's it's been really fun okay Kaylee well congratulations on a good start to the season thank you for your time best of luck the rest of the season thank you so much